Here we go! Hey everyone, back again with another episode of some live video game hunting. I went to a load of places over the last probably three weeks or so. Uh, we've got loads of stuff to show, so let's just get straight into it and see what we got. Oh, it feels like I've been to about 15 charity shops in a row without finding a single thing. Finally got a little haul there. Uh, six games, so we've got something to show off. I have a couple of odds and ends that I've gotten over the last couple of weeks. Uh, so what I'll do is there's one more charity shop I went to earlier on that was closed for lunch. Uh, we're going to have a quick go there and I think we'll leave it then for the year and uh, we'll do a little sum up then later on. The 
pit stop. Uh, there's two in a little shopping centre here on the way down. There are places that are going to be closed for lunch anyway. Never find a thing in here. I think I got like, a just dance for the PS4 about three months ago. Uh, so look, you never know. Let's pop in and have a look. <laughs> There you have it, the power of the cheeky stuff. I said it in the last one. I wasn't even going to bother, only for it was a red light going straight down to the other place, and there was a green filter light that took me straight in here. So I said, Look, I'll go in and have a quick look. Well, we got the Sync Star Dance PS3. That was, they were both a euro actually, so that's going to get a few quid back in trade. And then one for the collection, Lord of the Rings, War of the North. And they were both actually complete, so that was pretty sweet. So uh, let's head to the last stop now and see what happens. I should actually point out that I'm literally game hunting in a storm. Uh, storm bar is at the height of it, uh, so that's the lens we go for this channel. Uh, storms don't stop us. Well, we ended on a high, uh, nothing mad in there, like, uh, but we picked up eight titles, a few bits for the collections, a few low value traders, and I didn't actually get it on camera because I had a handful with these, uh, but they had some pops. Now, I don't know much about pops, but they were seven euro each. I took a bit of a chance, there was like a Yu Gi Oh one, uh, Star Wars Rebels one, and then the dude. So He's pretty cool. Big Lebowski is one of my favourite films, so that'll go nicely on the shelf. I'm just realising now I'm recording all this pickup stuff on uh, my dash cam, so I don't know how clear it's going to be where they've been able to use it all. But um, so look, we'll, uh, we'll get back to the house and we'll do a little wrap up of everything we've got. Yeah, so we got off to a bit of a slow start to the hunt in the last three weeks or so. Uh, we took a trip out to Newbridge in Calaire and just went to every charity shop we could find in the vicinity of like a little shopping centre that we went out there to have a look around. Uh, came away with one game, which was Heat Seeker on the PS2. Uh, unfortunately not complete it's disc only uh but that was two euro it's about what it trades for but it's a five euro game so we just said we'd pick it up and put it into the collection um but we got back to our sort of regular routes and that's where we really started picking stuff up um so first charity shop where we got a little haul we picked up six games uh so we got five wii titles that were two euro each and a ps2 one for one euro uh but the wii games we picked up were geforce uh, I have no idea what this is about. It looks like a load of hamsters with some sort of high-tech guns or something. I don't know. Um, but we'll have a little shot of that. Uh, Rayman Raving Rabbits. I actually picked up the second one of this a good while back. Uh, so that's another one for that collection. Uh, no manual with that one. Um, but then we got another Raven Rabbits. This one was Travel in Time. Again, no manual, but those games are crazy. So we'll get around to playing them at some stage. Uh, no, nothing about this one. Create. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. I thought maybe it was one that you need like the U draw thing for, but I don't think it is. So, uh, another one to pop in at some stage. Uh, this was a good one actually, Lego Batman. Uh, this goes for about the tenner. And this one actually was complete. Uh, so, that's another good one for the collection. And then the PS2 title for Euro, an absolute banger. We got Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds. Uh, this actually sells for decent money. So, um, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's worth having a shot of it. Have a look. 
Uh, unfortunately, no manual, but again, just an interesting one to have in the collection, to have a go of sometime. Um, then I went, I talked about it in the car, I was gonna go straight to my last stop, uh, ended up swinging by uh, two places that are sort of on the route, never find anything. Uh, I mentioned it in the car, I got one just danced there a long time ago, actually I think one of the Raven Rabbits I picked up in one of those places as well, but that's literally been it. Uh, so we walked into one and they had two on the shelf there, they had Sing Star Dance, uh, these were a euro each so that's gonna trade for uh, no, two euro. Pay for the two of them and we get to add the Lord of the Rings War in the North to the collection for free. And that's about a 10 euro game and that's complete as well. So that was pretty nice. Um, so then we went down to, sorry, we have a rake of stuff here. So I'm just trying to see what's what's in what order. Uh, we got a rake of stuff in the last charity shop. Uh, these were all one euro each. Uh, so we got Brutal Legend for the 360. This actually looks like a bit of crack. Uh, never played it before. So looking forward to that. Uh, OG Gears of War, one we already have, but for a Euro we'll just add it to the trade pile. Uh, Zumba Fitness 2, I don't think I'm going to be using this game as part of my New Year's resolutions or anything like that. Uh, but it was one Euro, it's about what it trades for, and it was actually a really nice case. So I kind of thought, I'll take it, I'll switch it out with something else, and trade it back to CEX and give them a shitty case for change and see how they like it. Um, a copy of The Saboteur on PS3, again, all these are complete. Uh, Gears of War 2, don't have Gears 2, I only ever played the first one I think back in the day, that was the only one I ever had. Um, another Gears of War, Gears of War Judgment, this one's a bit light so I don't think there's a manual in that one. Uh, no, disc only. Uh, Fear on the 360, I actually have this on PS3, so uh, we might look into which is the better copy, or which is which is the better version on which console uh, and keep one and maybe trade the other because it's not a bad little trader that one. I do need to start recouping a bit of money for all this stuff. Excuse me. And then uh, a copy of Bioshock 2 on the 360. Uh, another complete one. Uh, so that was a nice way to kind of round up the game hunting for the year. We got a nice little pile there. Uh, but while I was in there, I, I couldn't. I, had, I was literally going around with these like this and I had the phone in my hand. Uh, so I couldn't show these. But they had like five or six Funko Pops. I don't know an awful lot about them. I don't really have much interest in them. I really don't want to get down the hole of collecting them either because of enough shite around here as it is. Uh, but we just picked up three. Um, I don't know I'm kind of half thinking in the new year about just picking up, you know, not much, but a few bits and pieces that I see in the charity shops and maybe try and sell them online or sell them locally and just get some money towards the sort of the game hunting fund or the retro game fund, as I should say. Um, so I, don't know, I just took a chance on a few of these, I thought maybe they might be worth a few quid and it'll be a learning experience anyway just to see what's worth what. Uh, but we got this Yu-Gi-Oh one, I'm going to butcher an attempt at pronouncing it, I'm going to call him Sito Kaiba. Uh, but I don't know, there's four in that little collection, like, these were all seven euro each. There we go, seven euro each, so I just thought, ah, we'll give them a shot and I mean worst case they'll look good on the shelf. Um, but a Star Wars Rebels one, Sabine. Uh, a quick look tells me that I might do okay them. Some of them might be worth about 20 euro, but again, I don't know. That's just having a quick flick on uh, eBay. And then the dude from the Big Lebowski. So he's class. I probably won't even sell him. I'll probably keep him, to be honest. I actually almost forgot about the best pick up the lot. I normally try and show these in order so I kind of remember what I got, how much I paid for it. Um, but I sort of teased them at the start and showed them in the middle when I found them. But we got this Mario. This is the first for figures. This was the 25th anniversary release. Um, and I've seen it in so many people's uh, YouTube videos in their game rooms, like holding a DS, holding games, stuff like that. So I've always wanted one. And I kind of said that if I'd seen it online somewhere for about 20, 25 euro, I'd probably pick it up. Uh, but just seeing it randomly on the shelf in the charity shop, I don't know if you'd be able to see it there, um, but it was two euro. I mean, you can't go wrong for that. Like, So that was a class pickup. Delighted to get that. Um, otherwise, the only other pickups I have, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm doing a little mini series over there called the 24 games of Christmas. Essentially, I've just picked up 24 games over the last couple of months. Uh, I've been keeping them in their envelopes. I have opened them just for the ease of whatever and making sure the right games are in there. Um, so I do know what's in the stocking, but I basically put 24 of them into a giant stocking. I pull a random one out every day and show it. Uh, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, go over there. Uh, I'm really enjoying that series. Uh, but what I'll do is I've done 10 days already. I'll show these 10 off. If you're not on Instagram, don't worry about it. I'm going to try and get another video out before the end of the year just to wrap up everything that's happened. Um, so I'll probably show the rest of the 24 games in that. Um, but the 10 we've got so far, yesterday's pickup was a copy of Pushover on the SNES. Uh, most of this stuff I've used trade credit. Actually, I think the last video 
I had that Minecraft game. I traded that in. I traded in uh, Lego Harry Potter, I think it was. One to four that Mrs. Retro Games uh, already picked up for me. And some other one or two euro game. And I got about 35 euro worth of credit. So I spent all that. I spent whatever trade credit I had left. And then I bought some nice stuff in the Retro Gaming store for 40 euro. So that's pretty much what's in the stocking. Uh, so we pulled some good stuff out. There's still some really good stuff in there. There's still some horrendous stuff in there as well. So we wait and see. Uh, but yeah, yesterday's one was pushover uh, for the SNES. Uh, I do kind of try and just put a few lines in about every game. This is one from the childhood. That, like I just I remember having nightmares about them yellow dominoes, them yellow and red stripe things. And I said it on Instagram. This is hundred percent the first game that I ever rage quitted from, and <laughs> that has kept going since. Uh, we got Independence Day, the game for PS One. This is just I just wanted to pick a random stuff. Like there's a few games for every console. Probably a lot of Wii because that's cheap, it's affordable, and I like collecting it. Uh, but we also got Tron Evolution Battle Grids complete. I'm going to have a place to put this stuff down. Uh, day one, I think, was this Harry Potter Chambers and Philosopher's Stone. Sorry. Uh, again, complete. Uh, the Harry Potter games are one I'd like to kind of complete a series, either, you know, all in one console, even across all the consoles. Uh, this one, Disney Universe. Looks like a bit of crack. Uh, I'm gonna call it Chromaya Omega. Um, I actually, I'm not sure if I looked it up when I seen it. I think it was CX. I picked this up from. I uh, just looked at a quick video of it, and visually, this just looks amazing. I can't wait to pop this in the PS2 and just get it on the big telly and have a go of it. Uh, copy of Wally complete. Uh, Mushroom Men: The Spore Wars. <laughs> You'll probably see a bit of a trend across these. That some of these games just look absolutely bonkers and mad because that's what I love playing. Just something crazy and random. Uh, we have Tack and the Guardians of the Gross. Again, another one I know nothing about, but we might have a bit of crack with it. And then we actually pulled uh, our first GameCube game from. Uh, of course, there's no manual because it came from CEX, so they'll give you all the Wii manuals, but the feckin' GameCube game that you want for your collection never has the manual with it. Uh, but yeah, Scooby Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights. We won't overly complain too much. It's nice to pick up affordable GameCube titles to put into the collection. So, so that's what's come out of that so far. So yeah, another 14 days of that. Uh, I'm recording now and I have to go down and pull a feckin' one out of the stocking. So I'll probably, while I'm running through the editing on this, I'll probably post an Instagram one. Um, but yeah, if you have Instagram, go and give us a follow over there and get involved because it's a really fun series so far. Yeah, so that's the pickups of this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to get another game hunting video out before the end of the year uh, i'm definitely going to do at least one more though because i kind of just want to wrap up everything that's happened this is my first year doing youtube uh, so i just want to do a little special one just to say thanks to everyone uh, and just kind of recap uh, my experience with it so far and what my plans are going to be for 2022 uh, because we do have some plans and i want to share them with you uh, so just once again thanks everyone that's stuck around for the last i don't know five six months i've been doing this now uh, it's been a blast uh, i love seeing new subscribers coming along so welcome to everyone that's joined since the last video and look we'll see you again before the end of the year but just if i don't get one out before christmas just want to say hope you all have an amazing christmas or an amazing holiday season um thanks for all the support and uh, we'll see you before the end of the year cheers thanks